Good morning. It's Nancy, health and lifestyle coach and founder of Peaks and Poses Trail Yoga and Outdoor Adventure. I hope you are having a fantastic morning. Happy Monday. And um, this morning, we're going to pay a little bit more attention to our head and neck and shoulders. All right, so we're going to start in a comfortable seat on the front of your mat. I'm going to be sitting on a block in Hero's Pose. And just rest your hands comfortably on your lap. And just close your eyes for a moment here. And take a few deep breaths in. Taking a breath in through your nose. And you can even let it out your mouth. And as you release the breath, to see if you can make a connection with your shoulders, to just allow them to start to float down your back and that you create some space in between the tops of your shoulders and your ears. Let's take a few more like this. Just giving yourself this opportunity to connect with your breath. Your breath is your prana, your life force. So we never want to jip ourselves out of our breath. We want to slow it down, allowing it to calm your nervous system and bring ease through your body. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, bring your left arm up overhead. Open your eyes if you like, and then inhale, reach it up. And then as you exhale, take a bend to the elbow, allowing your palm fingers to rest from the side of your pad. A big inhale here, fill your body. And as you exhale, gently guide your left ear down towards your left shoulder. Just opening space along the right side of your neck, taking that right shoulder down. Breathing in. And breathing out, being gentle here with our neck. Inhale, brings your head back on up. Exhale, release this left arm down to your lap. Inhale, bring right arm up. And as you exhale, bend that elbow, holding on to the left side of your head. Deep inhale. And then exhale, taking your right ear down towards your right shoulder. Lengthening the left side of your neck, bringing that left shoulder blade down. Just noticing the sensations that you're feeling. Maybe one side is, side is tighter than the next. All is good, right? You're doing yoga, something positive for your mind, your body. Take one more inhale here. Exhale. The inhale brings your head back up, release your right arm, and exhale your hands down to your left. Inhale the sun breath, sweep it up, and then exhale, just twist to your left. Inhale, so you can grow a little taller. Now as you exhale, just take that le the, your chin towards your left shoulder. Take the eyes in the corners of their sockets. Release your eyes. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, we'll take it over to the other side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, taking the chin towards the right shoulder, taking the eyes in the sockets, in the corners. Right, they're already in their sockets. Oh, Monday morning. And then inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, palms come to your heart center. Now draw your chin in, so sort of retract it, and then bring your forehead down towards your fingertips. 
maybe closing your eyes here, but just feeling a stretch in the back of your neck, maybe where your neck inserts into your shoulders. to let some of that go. One more inhale here. Empty it out. Bring your head back on up. Inhale, sweep the arms up as you exhale. Interlace your fingers. Reverse your palms. Grow your arms long. Maybe even keeping a little bend in your shoulders. And then take a breath in. Now, as you exhale, just start to lift your heart up towards the sky and then open up your throat. Just allowing your chin to reach up towards the sky. Maybe closing your eyes. Just stretching out the front of your throat, your arms, your shoulders. Breath in. Breath out. I feel this delicious breeze coming in, bringing your head back on up and release the arms out in front of you and then taking them behind you. Let's come up onto our knees. Stretch out the bottoms of our feet a little bit. Interlace your fingers behind you. Little bend to the elbow. And then just reach those knuckles down. Breath in. As you exhale, take your chin towards your left shoulder. Inhale back to center. Chin over to the right shoulder. Come back to center. Release the arms. You can stay up on your knees and just swim the shoulders, swim the arms. Just moving the shoulder joint. Doesn't have to be fast. Motion is lotion. So we're kind of lubing up your joints here for the day or evening. I'm not sure when you're going to be doing this practice. Take the arms in front of you, swimming them around. And then we'll come back on to center. Reach the arms up. Take your left arm underneath your right. Wrap it around. Now we're on our knees here. If this is not a good uh, place for you, come into a seat or maybe come into a stand. Draw the elbows away. Give them a little lift. I like to close my eyes here and just feel the sensations across my upper back. Breathe deep. Breathe long. Breathe slow. Okay, we're trying to slow things down in our yoga practice so we open up our awareness. What's going on inside? Oh, let's release those arms. Reach them all the way up. Bring the palms together. Bend your elbows and reach behind you. See if you can draw your fingertips towards the back of your heart. Stretching through the underarms, the armpits. Press those palms together. And then inhale, reach them up. Now as you exhale, take the right arm underneath the left. Wrap it around. So these are eagle arms, Garandasana arms. Draw your elbows away. Give your arms a lift. Breathing in, breathing out, and then let's release the arms, bring them up overhead again, bring the palms to touch, bend the elbows. This time we make a little hammock for our head. So interlace your fingers, right? open your elbows wide, and then lift your chin, lift your heart, let your head be supported here in your hammock. Need to hold on to our head all day long. Let it rest. Now 
One more inhale here. Exhale. And then slowly bring your head back to center. Reach the arms up and then we'll bring them back into our heart. All right, so we're gonna come on to all fours coming into a tabletop. And we'll align our wrists under our shoulders, palms pressing into the earth, fingers spread wide, knees underneath hips, draw belly to spine. And then an inhale, reach the tailbone up, sink the hips down, reach your heart forward. You can gaze forward as you exhale. Let's reverse that flow. Tip the tailbone, belly button to spine, chin to chest. Really round through your back, spread those shoulders. We'll take an inhale here, exhale. And then inhale, reverse the flow. Exhale, stay right here. Inhale. Exhale to round the spine and spread those shoulders. Inhale again, hips sink down, tailbone lifts, heart reaches forward. And then exhale to reverse that flow. And then we'll come back to our tabletop. We'll pick our right palm to the center of the mat, maybe opening up the knees a little bit. Now as you inhale, open the chest to the left, reach left arm up. And then as you exhale, we're gonna thread the needle here. So we're coming on to our left shoulder, the left side of our head, and we're gonna reach this right arm up to the sky. And then you're gonna bend that elbow and place the back of your palm on your lower back. So we're just adding on a little bit here to open up the shoulders, release the spine. If you want, you can take that right foot and extend it to the back of your mat. Keep your toes connected or maybe you give that leg a lift. Most important as you inhale, feel some length through your spine. And then exhale, just sort of rinsing that spine. So feel the left side of the chest trying to um, face the right side of your mat. And then inhale, reach the right arm up. And then exhale, palm comes to the earth. Bring that right knee leg in if it's been extended and come back. And again, on an inhale, open the chest to the left. And then exhale to bring that palm back down. <clears throat> Now we're gonna take the other side. So we come back into our tabletop and then we bring the left palm in to center. And on an inhale, open the chest to the right and exhale to thread the needle. Coming onto the right side, the right shoulder, the right side of your head. You're on your knees and we'll extend the left arm up. And then we'll take a bend to the elbow and we'll place the back of your palm on your lower back. And then you decide if you wanna stay here or extend that left leg out behind you. And again, as you inhale, feel some length through your torso. And as you exhale, feel the spine rinsing and releasing finding the right side of your chest, reaching around the spine towards the left side of your mat. And take one more breath here. Maybe that leg lifts. Exhale. And then we'll bring your left arm up, palm to the earth, knee comes in if it's extended, and we come back into our tabletop shifting the hips a little bit side to side. And then we'll take our hips to the left and we'll shift the gaze to the left, lengthening the right side body. And we'll bring head back to center and we'll shift the hips over to the other side and we'll take the gaze over to the right lengthening through the neck, side body, and then 
and we will return to center. Now from here, we're going to tuck our toes and then we're gonna lift our knees up and we're gonna come into downward dog. We're just gonna give our head a little rest here. Sending your palm shoulder distance apart, feet or hip distance apart, heels may be lifted, that's okay, right? We're working on lengthening out our legs. And just take a little walk with your dog. Really push through your palms, your forefingers, your thumbs. Put that space in your palm between those fingers. Push long through the arms to lift those hips. And then we're gonna settle the heels down. And then inhale, lift the heels as you exhale, bend those knees. See if you can bring them to a hover to the earth, look forward. And then we'll walk our feet to the front of our mat. Bring your feet hip distance apart or greater. Bend your knees, bring your chest down toward your thighs. We'll grab opposite hand to opposite elbow and hang in a rag doll. Really let the crown of your head draw you down towards the earth. And you set a drishti, which is a soft gaze at one spot. Maybe it's at the back of your mat. So settling the eyes helps to settle the mind. And give your head a shake, yes. And a shake now. And then we come back to center. Let's release the arms. Start to walk your hands up your legs. And with a flat back, breathe yourself on up. Release your arms. We come into mountain pose, Tadasana. We're gonna take a half sun salute and then we'll end with a wide legged forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive, let everything go, head and neck included. Palms come to your shins as you inhale, bring some length to your spine. Exhale, bow, inhale, bend your knees, exhale, draw belly to side, and slowly roll yourself on up. Inhale, the sun breath, sweep it up as you exhale, interlace your fingers and release your pointer. Inhale, grow tall through your side body. Exhale, folding over to the left. Inhale, sweep it up as you exhale over to the right. Inhale, come back to center. And now as you exhale, interlace your fingers behind you. And then we're gonna to start to open up our legs now our feet are parallel and then turn them so that they are a little pigeon toed. Bend your knees, bend your elbows, inhale, reach your heart high, open up your throat and exhale, begin to fold yourself in half. Reaching those arms up and overhead first. Feel the shoulder blades moving in. Out of your head, reaching them down, and the breath flowing in and out. Now bend your elbows and bring the elbows all the way over to the right. Shift your gaze over your left shoulder. Breath in, breath out. One more inhale here. Exhale, slowly bring your head back to center, arms back to center, elbows are bent, bring the elbows all the way over to the left, shift your gaze over to the right. Deep breath in, exhale. One more inhale here. Exhale. Uh, and release, bring your head back to center. Release the arms out in front of you. Bend your knees, bring your palms to your thighs with a flat back. Breathe yourself on up. 
Inhale, reach the arms up, and then exhale, bring your palms into your heart center. And just take a moment here in prayer to Dasana. Connecting with your breath, connecting with your feet rooted onto the earth. And before we end our practice, just set an intention for your day. And one more inhale together. Exhale. And then we'll take our forehead down towards our fingertips. Together we say, Namaste. Namaste, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for practicing with me this morning. Um, if you like the practice, always give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do share with your friends and check me out on peaksandposes.com. Founder of, uh, you'll see all sorts of events happening with Peaks and Poses trail yoga and some cooking and also check out my Power Up uh, coaching program.